Alright, what do you think is the most effective exercise for your entire body? There are numerous workouts that target each and every of your muscles, but there's none better for your stamina and endurance than planking. Hey, <laughs> shiver me timbers! Time to walk the plank! No, not that kind of plank, you goof. Oh, sorry, matey. Arr. Anyway, if you think plank is a static exercise with little dynamics, then think again. Today, I'm going to tell you about different variations of plank that will bring your exercise routine to a new level. Let's start with the basics and remember what the classic plank is. Lie on the floor, face down, propping your upper body on your hands and your lower body on the tips of your toes. Your palms should be planted firmly onto the floor right beneath your shoulders. Keep your arms straight and don't crane your neck to look forward. You should be facing the floor as well. Your body should form a straight line from the nape of your neck to your heels for the entire duration of the plank. Stay in this position for 30 seconds. That's it! Perfect! The standard plank strengthens your core, abs, and back. As you progress, it'll become easier to perform, so when you're ready, increase the time you hold the position – first to 45 seconds, then to a minute, and so on until you reach 2 minutes. The same applies to the rest of the planks you're going to see in this video, so just hold it. Ok, now that you've learned the ropes, let's upgrade your planking routine and make up a super workout made entirely of different kinds of planks. Number 1. Plank Walk Down This variation engages not only your core, but also your biceps, as well as your back and abdominal muscles. Basically, it's a lot like push-ups, only modified to make it easier for beginners. Start in the elbow plank. Your lower body is on your tiptoes, but the upper body is propped on your bent elbows. Your hands should lie flat on the floor, palms down, and your forearms tense and ready for action. Now, pull your right arm from the floor and place your palm where your right elbow has just been, right beneath the shoulder. Pushing yourself up with your right arm, pull your left one and do the same. You're now in the standard plank. Now, reverse the movements. First, lower your right forearm back on the floor, then your left one. Repeat for 30 seconds, gradually increasing the time as you progress. Number 2. Tom Cruise Plank Or a Spider-Man plank if you like, whichever is your choice. The exercise is all about training your entire body – shoulders, forearms, calves, thighs, and abs. Start in the classic plank position. Slowly move your right hand and foot to the right and left hand and foot to the left. Put them as far apart as you can, then lower your body to the floor so that you're kind of floating just above it. Your core should be tense by now and your arms bent at the elbows. Try to hold the tremor in your core and hold this position for 30 seconds. Number 3. Side Plank with Foot Touching this variety is awesome for your shoulders, arms, and hips. Get into the side plank position, lie on your side, propping your upper body on the left forearm and your feet on top of each other. Stretch your right arm up towards the ceiling. Now, swing your right leg up, trying to touch the tips of your toes with the fingers of your outstretched arm. The swinging leg should be kept straight at all times. Don't bend it at the knee, and don't let your torso sag to the floor either. Do this for 30 seconds, then turn on your right side and do the same thing with your left arm and leg. Number 4. Knee to Elbow Side Plank While you're still in the side plank position, it's a good idea to switch to another exercise that targets the same muscles as the previous one and adds another group to them – your glutes. But what? <laughs> exactly! Return to the side plank on your left side and put your right hand behind your head so that your elbow sticks out toward the ceiling. Now bend your right leg at the knee and crunch, reaching your knee to the elbow. Once again, make sure your core doesn't sag to the floor. Continue doing this for 30 seconds, then turn on your other side and repeat the same with your left arm and leg. Number 5. Plank Sidewalk This is a lighter exercise to give you a little breather before the tough stuff. <laughs> it targets mainly your back and shoulders. 
start in the standard plank position and lift both your right arm and leg from the floor. Move them simultaneously to the right, plant back on the floor, and move the left arm and leg to the same side. Now, make the same crawling movement back, starting with your left arm and leg. Make sure your pelvis doesn't go up and keep your body in a straight line all the time. As usual, repeat the crawls for 30 seconds. Number 6. One-armed plank Remember about the tough stuff? <laughs> Here goes! This plank variety is not exactly for beginners, so don't feel frustrated if you can't hold it even for 30 seconds. It'll make your core and especially your shoulders burn. Start in the elbow plank position and lift your left arm off the floor. Place it along your body, propping yourself only on your right forearm. Try not to shake and don't let your torso or pelvis rock to the side. Keep this position for 30 seconds, or as long as you can, and then repeat with the other arm. Remember, keeping the form is key. Number 7. Plank Side Jumps This exercise works wonders for your hips, glutes, calves, abs, and back. It also acts as a moderately effective cardio exercise, getting your heart rate up, which is always nice. Get into the standard or, if you're not yet confident, the elbow plank position. Put your feet together and start jumping from side to side, moving your lower body from the pelvis down. Make sure your core remains stable, though, and increase the swing when you feel you could do it. Just don't jump too high. 30 seconds should be easy for this exercise, so feel free to extend it as you see fit. Number 8. Side-to-side -side Plank your back, glutes, and thighs will thank you for this rock and roll variety of a plank. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Oh, uh, thank you. Ah, uh, you're welcome, guys. Get in the elbow plank position and roll your hips to the side. Try touching the floor with your hip before going back up. Get back to the center position and roll on to the other side. Make sure your core doesn't sag or lift, and your feet shouldn't move either, rolling with the rest of your lower body but remaining in their place. Continue doing this for 30 seconds. Number 9. Leg Lifting Plank Now This is a mix of planking and stretching, which helps you avoid injuries and do some endurance training at the same time. Leg Lifting Plank targets your obliques, glutes, and latissimus dorsi, or the biggest back muscles, nicknamed lats. Start in the elbow plank position. Keep your legs straight and raise your left leg up bent only at the foot. Stretch until you feel slight tension in your hamstring and glutes, but don't overdo it. If you feel pain or unpleasant sensation, you're probably trying too hard. Lower your leg back to the floor and repeat with your right leg. Continue switching legs for 30 seconds. Number 10. Plank Forward Slide This one looks simple, but hey, you know better already, right? <laughs> Forward slide plank will train your calves, abs, and biceps. Elbow plank is your initial position once again. Push your entire body with the tips of your toes so that you slide forward and then return to the starting position by pushing back with your forearms. It's very important not to let your back arch or sag and to keep your abs tense. Continue sliding back and forth for 30 seconds. Number 11. Cross-step plank Another plank variation that gets your muscles stretched while strengthening your core, back, and legs. Ooh, a twofer. Or threefer. Start with the classic plank position. Now lift your left leg off the floor, turn your pelvis to the right, and try reaching your left knee to the right elbow. I know, it sounds impossible, but if you do everything correctly, it should be a piece of cake to you. Return to the initial position and repeat all that with your other side. Keep going until your 30 seconds are up. Number 12. PPT Plank PPT stands for Posterior Pelvic Tilt, which probably still doesn't make any sense. Anyway, what this exercise is about is building a lot of tension in your core, activating your abs like nothing else. Start in the elbow plank position. The thing is, this plank doesn't involve actual movement. You should press your forearms and toe tips hard to the floor and pull them together, all the while resisting with your core so as not to fold like a book. 
At the same time, squeeze your abs as hard as you can. This is your plank position. Hold it for 10 to 15 seconds. If you do everything right, you'll probably not be able to keep it much longer anyways. Relax and repeat after 10 seconds. Well done! So that's it for today's planking workout. I bet your muscles are aching right now, and they should be. After all, plank is a real endurance exercise, and what you've done today is a lot of extra training. Repeat this workout two or three times a week, and you'll see your body transforming within a month. Now, do you know any other plank variations that might be useful to add here? Let me know down in the comments. If you learned something new today, then give this video a like and share it with a friend. But hey, don't go anywhere just yet. Mm -mm. We have over 2,000 cool videos for you to check out. All you have to do is pick the left or right video, click on it, and enjoy. Stay on the bright side of life.